Hi, I'm Daniela Cota from the INSERM Neurocentrum Agendi in Bordeaux, France, and I'm very glad of having the opportunity to tell you a little bit uh, uh, today about uh, our most recent work that got published in uh, Molecular Metabolism. In this study, we have uh, investigated the function of the cannabinoid receptors or CB1 receptors uh, expressed by SF1 neurons uh, in the ventromedial hypothalamus uh, by uh, conditionally deleting uh, CB1 receptors in this neuronal population. And what we found is that the CB1 receptors in SF1 neurons control uh, metabolic flexibility, which is the capacity of the organism to uh, match uh, fuel oxidation to fuel availability and metabolic responses uh, to the hormone uh, leptin. <coughs> In particular, uh, what we saw is that when uh, SF1 and CB1 knockout mice are uh, maintained on a regular chow, uh, which has a prevalent content uh, uh, of carbohydrate, uh, they show decreased adiposity, increased sympathetic outflow, uh, increased lipolysis in the white adipose tissue, all changes that are associated with increased sensitivity to the appetite suppressant and metabolic effects of the hormone leptin, and overall to improve the uh, glucose metabolism. Vice versa, when the animals were then exposed to a high fat diet, uh, this led to um, increased leptin resistance, to development of leptin resistance in the ventromedial nucleus, to a decreased use of uh, lipid substrates in the periphery, increased fat mass and uh, uh, glucose intolerance. So our conclusion is that the CB1 receptors in SF1 neurons uh, diet dependently and oppositely control energy balance and that they might work as a molecular switch uh, for the appropriate regulation of metabolic flexibility in response to uh, diet changes. I hope you will enjoy reading our paper. Thank you. Bye-bye.